Hello again. I recently got this. We bought it, but it's recently arrived. It's a leather cover from Etsy. It's uh, this seller. It's Bags Nasty. Uh, where is it? Camille Bags Nasty. So this is it. And you can put in a standard A6 notebook. There are the various different sizes that you can choose. And I thought it would be nice to try out because it has this closure where you use the pen like this, go through it to close it like a hinge. That's an interesting idea. Um, you can also put in an A6 ring notebook, but I had to cut off a, about a centimeter of the rear. There's, this has a plastic cover at the rear, but you can also you do the same, of course, with cardboard. And then it comes goes far enough and you can close it properly because this ring obviously takes a bit more space than if there's no ring. Um, yeah, so I wanted to try to compare it to this, which is a standard notebook, standard cover with notebook with a uh, rubber band that goes around it to close it. But the problem is always what to do with the pen. Uh, put it somewhere else or clip it on here, clip it on here, and then you get a problem, for example, that I have here with this Pilot Acro Ball, where you see that the, this just broke off. And yeah, so if you use this one, then it's always here. Downside is it's a, it's a bit bigger. You can't really put it in a coat pocket unless it's really big. This you can just about put in a coat pocket but then you need to put the uh, pen somewhere else or it will slide off if you slide it here somewhere so there are always issues with both i want to try both out but i want to what what i thought would be an interesting video was to show a bit the differences of how these pens work the ones that i tested in any case uh, with uh, writing while you're sitting in your bed, for example, putting the notebook against your knees so the pen is horizontal or even a bit downward. So that means the ink is going away from the tip. So it's going like this and you're writing and the pen and the ink from gravity will go downwards. How well does it write? Well, let's see. I have here the Pilot Acroball. These are pretty good ballpoint pens. Here I have the Uniball Signo 207 Micro, which is which is a nicely fine writing, but I don't like the color. It's 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 supposed to be blue, black, blue, blue, black, but it's a, more like a blue green. It's really it's a bit weird. If you see the the tip here, then you see the same color again. So I don't know what they're doing. I, I had another one of these, the same, exactly the same, and it's it's also the same color. Then I have an interesting one or two interesting ones. These are friction, uh, pilot friction ball, slim, zero point three eight millimeters, and the pilot friction ball, zero point three, zero point five, and you can erase these just as you can erase um, a pencil and it works by heat so if you if you go with this tip this tip here on what you write then you can erase it you can get it back by the way by putting it in the freezer the, but it's not as clear as before but I'll show you here how it works hello all right now I'm going to And it's gone, just about gone. Uh, so these could be interesting or useful for a notebook where you keep things and you may want to edit. But yeah, I don't didn't really find it all that useful. Uh, the friction ball 0 0.38 it Writes very finely, but it's uh, it's a bit scratchy. I don't really like it. it doesn't really write all that well. Mm. So you see, it's very fine writing. 
but it's um, it's more like scratching feeling and sometimes it doesn't dry it well so I don't really like this one then we come to the Pilot GT G2 07 the 0 0.7 millimeters very nice writing but a bit thick and the 0 0.5 millimeters I have here is a bit again this scratchy type feeling that you get it's not that smooth writing so this, that's a pity um, the Uniball Signo 0 0.5 I don't really like this one it's it's it writes well but it is extremely bad when you write with the tip slightly upwards I'll show you that here uh, then we have the Zebra Sarasa clip 0 0.5 I also have 0 0.4 but it's 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 slightly thinner and I like that but this one writes more smoothly so I prefer this one so I'll show you some of the tests that I did this was writing slightly at the downward angle so the point is slightly upwards as you might do when writing in bed, as I mentioned, with a notebook against your knees or something like that. Pilot Acrobal works pretty well. The GT07, G207 works also pretty well, but these I will come back to later with the... Um, so Pilot Acrobal, uh, that's this one. And this one. Uh, the GT07, let, that's this one, works pretty well, and I'll show you later with the extreme angle that it works even, very well even then. The Uniball Signo is this one, it works really badly, already on the first line it's it's quitting. The Zebra Sarasa clip works really well, and I'll get back to that one with the extreme angle test. The friction clicker works well. I will also get back to that on the extreme angle test. The Uniball Signo 0 0.5 is mm, pretty bad, pretty bad. That's this one. Yeah, don't recommend it at all for writing in bed. It's absolutely useless. The Pilot Friction Ball Slim, it's also pretty bad, but it was already quite bad normally. I don't really like that one. Now we go to the extreme angle test. The Pilot Acrobal. You see, after three lines, it gives up. The friction clicker, uh, the friction ball, friction clicker, I think it's the same as this one. It's, uh, it works well normally, but here it works pretty badly at an extreme angle. So about 35, 30, 45 degrees down. Uh, the Zebra Strasse clip 0 0.5, just, that just keeps going. It's perfect. The Pilot GT07 extreme angle that that also just keeps going so if you uh, write at, in bed sometimes you will get this this issue uh, of not being able to write anymore and you need to angle your pen down all that kind of stuff that's pretty annoying so for this reason only the GT07 and the Zebra Strasse clip are really good but one other issue remains, and that is what happens with water. That's something I also tested, but I couldn't. I, I found one recently one part of the test on a on a on a note on a note, yeah, piece of paper, not really a notebook. Uh, so I'm going to test it again. Let's see what happens. Maybe I need to do it and show the results in a second video. It will probably take too long, but the GT07 was pretty bad in the tests that I did. I think I will need to... Well, you can already... So these have been dried out already quite a, quite a while. And you can already see the color slightly coming off the GT07. And the Uniball Signal, well, how much is that? That looks still quite okay. The friction ball looks okay. The Sigma, Nubal Sigma. Here the Pilot GT05. You can see it's very thin and not very. Sometimes you get these uh, places where there's very little ink. It's, so I'm not too impressed with that. 
I think I will have to let this uh, work a little bit, but you, but with the Pilot GT, you already see that it is the ink is coming off a bit. So that was the issue I had long ago already as well. So I will let this sink in uh, in the water. Let this stay in the water and give an update video about this, but already from everything I would say is that the Zebra Serasa clip is the best one that I tested so far. Absolutely excellent in all respects. In writing, it's smooth writing. Um, it's it's well, it yeah, it's it's well in the water. It doesn't it doesn't go away the ink doesn't doesn't leave the page whereas the gt07 it's pretty bad uh the um, pilot acrobat the ballpoint pen is pretty good the new ball signal i think that was also quite bad but um probably only after a longer time so see you in the next video bye